to mark the corneal axis we first align the two arms of the straight lamp straight in one line till they lock in the center once they fix we lock them and then we move the straight lamp axis to 0 180 we also ensure the thinnest possible slit and the beam at 0 180 we ask the patient to place his head straight while touching the forehead in the center and then focus the slit beam onto the cornea. Ask the patient to look into the light. This gives us a central Purkinje reflex. All we need to do is align three points, the thinnest slit possible and the Purkinje reflex in the center and then we can mark the two points of the limbus which gives us the axis of 0, 180. We can also use this technique to identify if the IOL has been rotated or not by making the patient look into the light and then rotating the slit beam to identify the axis of placement of the IOL which can confirm the placement of the IOL in the toric axis right or wrong. Toric IOL redialing. This patient had required the toric IOL at 65 to 70 degrees, I think it was 70 degrees and the IOL has probably rotated by, so I am planning to mark my 70 degrees here. So I need to look at the central corneal Purkinje reflex, two marks of 0 and 180 which were marked. Now, I will just reinforce these marks with my toric marker. Wash karo chhe. Wet hai jada. Wash karo. Light ka dekhe ma'am, please. Wash karo, cotton do, cotton bud do. The same thing is repeated here. Now, this gives me an approximate range of dialing wash now the lens needs to be rotated by approximately 15 degrees or so and we are cornea wet I have an option of either opening my original wound or create a new cutter. We take away the yeah. MBR. Oh, MBR. We may make two ports. I'll avoid using a viscoelastic if I if I can. I'll try and rotate the lens under hydro. Ma light ka dekhenge hilana nahi. Thoda pressure lagega aapko. This is approximately three weeks post-operative. So we have rotated the lens. And as you can see, the lens is aligned now. Look into the mar light for the And there you are. So the lens is aligned and we are in business. So sometimes if the case is recently operated, you can avoid using viscoelastic and you can just use your uh, two side ports no need to open the main wound so the primary axis which was marked by the slit lamp and the secondary axis was marked on the table and there you are the oil redialing done